Alright guys, it's Rob again. I want to talk about these little cobalt blades one more time. i uh, been packing them now for two days. And I had a few questions in my previous video, so I want to try to address those questions. We'll look at the bigger one first. Uh, there's another shot at the thumb studs that suck, in my opinion. And I kind of agree with the fat man. They should be orientated like so they should be flipped but I've been really opening it out here kind of uh, well trying to do it through the video screen but anyway I had a few people ask me if it could be taken apart uh, looks like there's a couple Phillips screws there and then the pivot seems pretty self-explanatory and to get it off what do you think fat man you take this stuff apart all the time um, looked under here there's really nothing as far as screws or anything to take it off take it apart um, I really do like the pocket clip it works for me it's not the pocket clip design that a lot of people would like but I really do like it quite a bit and I've been asked about jimping uh, jimping's on the bottom side so I guess it would be instead of jimping on the thumb ramp be jimping on the index ramp so anyway uh, this material is like a rubberized and somebody asked me if it was all plastic it's a it's a rubber like over mode it's a cobalt uh, copyright thing I would assume it's on a lot of their tools on the handles uh, but it's pretty beefy as far as the handle goes uh, and I, I like it for what this would be used for like I said I've, I've packed it two days and Everyone knows how I feel about my Kershaw Freefall. I've made that very clear. I work this knife to death. And the blade is hating me right now. Definitely need to do some sharpening. Uh, but I've tried not to pull it out over the past couple days and just use this guy. And it fits. It just fits feels really good in the hand um, model number someone asked me about that there's a model number for you 36 53 51 and the lockup seems pretty tight for a razor it really does uh, lock back design so Anyway, uh, the smaller one, model number 365424. This thing is really small, guys. I pulled out my Kershaw Ember. Love that blade. Don't pack it a whole lot. All I've done recently is work, and this is a, a nicer knife. Uh, it's not like an EDC knife for me. Maybe a secondary EDC, but I don't want to mess it up. I really, really like it. And size-wise, everyone knows this is a pretty small little blade. So, here you go. Uh, this little guy only has a single thumb stud. Jimping again on the bottom side. And look how small in comparison to the ember so very 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 small blade I have been thinking about uh, exchanging it out for my little lock back on my key ring back when I wasn't as tactical and Maybe didn't carry a knife every single day religiously. 
I use this thing quite a bit, but now there's no chance I'm leaving home without at least one blade in my pocket or on my pocket. So this thing doesn't get a ton of use anymore. Every now and then, uh, it, it'll be quick and, and be used for something. There's my Emma Mafia keychain to shot my Bad Billy uh, video about about the Emma Mafia. And this is a very temporary situation, guys. This isn't something that's going to remain there. It's, uh, all my regulator plugs are 7 sixteenths. Uh, so I didn't want to lose my wrench. So small enough just to fit on my carabiner. You guys thought I had big keys before. But anyway, oh yeah, there's my boker. God, I love this pen. Bolt action, courtesy of the fat man. Thank you again, brother. Man, I always have to have a pen on me, like at all times. I'm filling out contracts. Uh, every propane tank I set, you get either a rental agreement Everybody gets a service contract and a rental agreement or a bill of sale, you know, depending on how the customer set up their account. So I always need this thing. I'm always scared I'm going to lose it. I just like it so much. And my wife will tell you, I go through some pens in the propane truck. Uh, and, I, and she says I steal hers all the time. She's got some favorite pens. And for some reason, I pick them up and walk off with them. But, man love this thing just so scared i'm gonna lose it but anyway uh i totally digress came back to the topic at hand a uh, couple days of carrying them this one's rode with me but not really been put to use this one's too nice this one is fighting for a spot over here and I've put this one through its paces. And for the time being, I'm very happy. It's pretty smooth for what it is, guys. I mean, is it smooth? No. But it is a razor. Um, it's just not a good way to get a hold of it and open it. That's the problem. But throw a little Lucas gun oil in there. I don't know, Fat Man, what's behind here as far as, like, washers or something, as far as a way to smoothen it up some. I have no idea. That's some pretty shitty machining work. But, not that that matters. So, anyway, uh, that's the second look and a couple day impression. So far, still thrilled with the purchase. Um... Uh, Check them out, guys. Get them while they're cheap. I don't know if it is a Christmas kit sale at Lowe's or if it's just something that they were, you know, clearing. Oh, the shit. This video is eight and a half minutes. Anyway, uh, if you watch me this long, I thank you very, very much. I got some killer subs, guys. Love you guys. We'll see you around, fellas and sisters. Happy Halloween! Sunday's my birthday. When I was a kid, it was awesome, dude. You you went trick-or-treating. You had all this candy. You woke up the next morning. It was your birthday. For real? And in the 20s, there was some amazing Halloween birthday parties. But anyway, everyone stay safe. Have fun. Be nice to the, what's he say, kitties and dogs and children, I think you will. See you around, fellas and sisters.